The financial market's taking another big tumble today. Don't, don't look at your 401k or your TD Ameritrade account. And the recent downturn is sparking fears of an impending recession. Not the R word. The Dow closing down 507 points. The S&P falling 54. The NASDAQ dropping 156 points. And a New York Times survey shows almost half of all the 134 CEOs they polled believe a recession could hit by the end of the month with two-thirds of those polled citing political instability and trade negotiations as the major reasons. So should we all be getting a little nervous? Joining me now, he is Euro-Pacific Capital CEO. It is Peter Schiff. Welcome back to the show, Peter Schiff. Nice to see you. Oh, nice, to, nice to be here again. So what is uh, driving the markets downward in your estimation? Well, selling, but I think most of the people who are selling are still oblivious to the fact that this is a bear market. Most people think it's still a correction, uh, but it's just early in a bear market. I think this bear market is going to be particularly vicious. But the more important thing is the recession that's coming. And this is not just going to be a garden variety, run-of-the-mill recession. We are going to finish the recession that we started in 2007 and that was interrupted for 10 years uh, with quantitative easing and 0% yes. interest rates. But the back half of this recession is going to be much worse than the front half. Now, it's you have, I, I want to stop next you for a little year. bit because you have written extensively about uh, the Fed and monetary policy exacerbating and creating a number of bubbles. Are we seeing that manifest? And if so, how? Well, sure. I mean, Trump inherited a bubble uh, that was passed down from Obama, but it was the Fed that blew all the air into it. And unfortunately, the bubble's going to pop on Trump's first term, which means he's not going to have a second term. We're still going to be in this recession on Election Day uh, 2020. And the problem is not that the Fed is raising rates. I mean, uh, the problem was that they slashed them to zero in the first and place and that they yeah. left them there so long. Yes. And so at this point, and it didn't matter, you know, when they raised them or, or, or how rapidly. That was it. I mean, we, 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 they sealed our fate the minute uh, they checked us into this monetary roach motel. I said from the beginning it was impossible to check out, and the Fed's about to find that out the hard way. Unfortunately for the country, uh, the consequences are going to be far more dire than just having to go through a horrific recession. All right, so, because so, politically, well, okay, so, so let's say you say with certainty we're heading into a recession. Uh, what can we do? What about ending the Fed? Is that a place to start? And is that a realistic solution? <laughs> well, I mean, it would be nice to eventually end it, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, I do think that we're going to go through a horrific period of stagflation. This next recession Ew, is going to be company, accompanied by, yeah, yes, very, very high inflation. But uh, the problem is, that the, the Democrats are going to nominate a socialist, and that socialist is going to be elected president in 2020, and he or she will have a socialist Congress uh, in 2021, and all of the blame for this collapse is going to be laid at the feet of Trump Republicans and what Trump and Republicans supposedly stand for, which is lower taxes, fewer regulations, freer markets. Uh, so unfortunately, now that Trump has rebranded this bubble as his yep. and the Republicans have claimed it for their own, unfortunately, they get all the blame. And this is the big danger yeah. because we are going to go hard left yeah, in 2021. So investors had better buckle I don't up disagree. now. I think you, you might be slightly more alarmist than uh, the, the normative consensus. But I will tell you, you do speak some truth here. It's very important. And I think people should just start growing victory gardens of their own weed in order to mm. numb themselves from the, uh, the coming pain. Thank you so much, Peter. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yep.